There's also an increase in calls to the Johnson County Mental Health Hotline. We've seen over the last 17 weeks about a 30% increase in the number of calls uh, both during the day and at night. The director of the mental health department says they are hearing about people taking their lives on a weekly basis. I think reaching out to friends and family, whether that's by phone or by Skype or other means would be really useful. Also be aware that a lot of self-help support, a lot of support groups are actually still available. And so as an example. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Bereaved Families of Toronto, which is a wonderful not-for-profit organization, is not meeting with people uh, in person, but they're still providing a lot of counseling over the phone and over the internet, and there's sister organizations like that all across the country. And I know a lot of folks have had trouble wrapping their minds around video conferencing. Either it feels overwhelming or they're just not used to the technology. What do you advise on, on that front? Try it. It's surprisingly straightforward. So when I think of criminalization of mental health, I think of the number of people who are struggling with their mental health who end up in our jails and our prisons because we are really operating in crisis mode. And we have put police officers uh, in the position of being social workers and trying to deal with issues uh, for which they have no training. It begins far too often with the 911 call. 